When having a set of threads and another specific thread that should be executed, as soon as a predefined number of threads from the set we have are completed, this is a scenario in which we can use the cyclic barrier class. When instantiating the cyclic barrier class, we should pass two arguments. The first is the predefined number of threads that once completed, the cyclic cyclic barrier move forward and execute the other specific thread. The second argument is a reference for a runnable object on which the run method shall be called once this predefined number of threads are completed. In this code sample we have an array of strings that when the, co the code starts, uh, it holds nulls and the matrix, matrix of characters. Each row is a simple an array of characters. If we take a look at this diagram, we can see this is the matrix and this is the array in which eventually each cell shall hold a reference for a string object. In this code sample, if we take a look at the main, we can see that merger is a local variable uh, that holds a reference for a runnable object. Merger holds the reference for the runnable object. The same runnable object, its reference was passed as the second argument to the cyclic barrier constructor. Over here. This code includes a simple loop that goes over um, and creates five objects of string creator class and calls the start method on each one of them. Calling start on a string creator object indirectly means the run method is executed on that very same object only in a separated new thread. That happens five times, meaning we have five threads running concurrently. Each one of them focus on a different row, different row from the matrix, and each one of them puts together the characters located in the row it focus on and eventually creates a string, its reference is placed here in this array. If you look in our code, the first output is this string. After that, we have this output, output that comes from the five separated threads that each one of them focus on a different row. That happens because we have a loop that creates five string creator objects and calls the start method on each one of them, meaning indirectly calling run on each one of these new created objects. Once each of these, let's say, string creator threads com is completed, it calls the await method on the cyclic barrier object. This cyclic barrier object is aware each time the await method is called on it. And once it understands that the await method was called five times, it moves forward and starts the merger thread or let's say in a simple uh, words, it move forward and call the run method on this object, which outputs this 